We will literally fly there, and if we were smart, we would bombard the fucking thing until it's nothing but a pile of rubble, and just be done. And then just confirm the kill, congratulations, and go home. At this point, how much muscle does he even have to stop us from leaving? Not that we would want to leave it at this point, but how much, what more, like how... His control of the valley must be gone at this point. I'd, I'd, I'd have to think. His control of the valley must be, like, completely fucked. He's down to this island, which is surrounded. This is the part where you surrender because you have nothing left. Unless, of course, God is going to come out and I have to fight the God-Joseph merger, which would be hilarious. Maybe that's an alternate ending. As I said, the best ending to this game is the one where we leave, we go back, we get the National Guard, we get the army, we get everything. And then we just steamroll it in about three days. Alright, welcoming me with open arms, he said, right? So no one is coming with me. I'm going this alone. Yeah, this, this just seems smart. Where are my weapons? Um. Apparently I don't have any weapons. Or I can't pull them out. My children, this is the word of your father. It's time for us to abandon this compound. You will venture throughout the county, taking what we need to survive the impending collapse. Go forth and perform the reaping. You'll be blessed and secure your place in Eden's gate. No, I'm full. I'm full on ammo. Sup, fuck boy. When the lamb broke the fifth seal. I saw under the altar the souls of the martyrs, slain because of the word of God. You made martyrs of my family, and I am prepared to do the same to yours. What? Wait! But God is watching us. And he will judge us on what we choose in this moment. I told you that we were living in a world on the brink. For every slight, every injustice, for every choice reveals our sins. And where have those sins led us? Where have those sins Apparently led nowhere. You? This was a waste of time helping these fucks. Your friends have been taken and tortured. And it's your fault. Countless people have been killed and it is your fault. The world is on fire and it's your fault. Was it worth it? that every problem cannot be solved with a bullet. When you first came here, I gave you the choice to walk away. And I took it. <laughs> but anyway, not. we're here. In the face of God, I'm making you that offer. One last time. down your guns you take your friends you leave me my flock and you go in peace go in peace you're fucking insane you see we never should have been here in the first place you know what to do Rook. We kind of wanted to leave at numerous points and you would not let us, but anyway. God is watching.
Uh, can we even walk away? Will they just kill us? I don't know. Let's try. And you will not be judged. Condemn now. Then you will not be condemned. Forgive. And you will be forgiven. Take your friends, my child. So what, in this one, you've learned from your teachings? Okay. Let's go. What? What are you doing? Brock. Share Basically, you're, you're, you're confused. This isn't, yeah, this isn't the true ending. You're supposed to resist him. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to just leave well enough alone. Get the fuck out. And then the car bomb blew them up. The end. I'm surprised. Apparently, everyone in this county is fucking crazy. Good. This is what we should have done to begin with. I don't know why it wasn't like this, but whatever. Get in the goddamn truck! Okay, so what's the what's the twist that's obviously coming up? Sir, with all due respect, what the fuck? We can't just leave those people. We're not going to leave those people. We're going to Missoula. We're going to get the National Guard and we're going to bring the hammer down on that goddamn place. No, no way. I'm not going to be a part of this. You heard what he said. You're gonna do exactly as you're told, Pratt. Only you. What's wrong? Oh no! <laughs> Only you. <laughs> That's a good ending, actually. Given what happened with with uh, Jacob. That's a good ending. I like that imply that you go crazy and you kill your friends that's fucked up that's a fucked up ending but that's the logical ending dude why like i don't know man god damn it's implied that you kill your friends after all of that work well that's a good ending i still like it it's not the good ending i imagine you have to kill him Obviously, the the path of bloodshed. Well, I'm glad I did this first because it was it's more interesting, and now we get to end off with a satisfying conclusion. That's good, man. I I gotta give props to the game. All right, well let's skip this so we can load back in and finish the game off. Okay, continue. <laughs> This game has had some pretty interesting shit in it, like from start to finish. It is a, uh, it's had some pretty good stuff. So I gotta give them credit where it's due. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! I gotta fly again. Ah, oh, Jesus. Whatever, I'll fly it. Unless anything is closer. No, nothing's really closer. Fuck it. Only you. I like that ending. I like how Quinn just just think about how unlucky you'd have to be to be Hudson Pratt and and fucking deputy in that situation or uh, not deputy excuse me uh, the marshal white horse. Think about how fucking unlucky you would have to be in that situation. All right, we'll make the good choice. Whatever. We'll we'll be boring. We'll we'll kill him obviously. Whatever. Right, it saved my progress. Yep. Alright. That's crazy, though. Oh, oh, all the people were under your sp the spell anyway. How? I, I don't get it. 
That's the one thing I don't get. Why are all these people under the spell of, of the Father? It really, like, are we going to actually have some, like, divine intervention here? Like, I'm a little confused by that. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah. We'll just, uh, we'll see. See, I was wondering where the church was in the beginning, because I know we flew past that thing. We flew down here. Wait, whoa, whoa, what's, what the fuck is happening? That was weird. And I was wondering, like, well, well when are we going to go back to the church? I mean, I guess I, I didn't even think of the possibility that we're going back at the end. You know what I mean? It, it makes sense. We're going to back to, go back right at the end. Where it all began. This is now a fast travel point as well. Okay. Alright, so... Ladies and gentlemen, in what is possibly one of the worst things you can have happen on a playthrough, uh, I ended up actually freezing my audio recording while it was working. Now, the audio is fine. I'm, I'm recovering it. It's it's okay. I made sure that I still had it because it was a six-hour session. But uh, that's why I don't do six-hour sessions. If I have to, I do three, maybe four at the most. And every so often, I have to have something like this to happen. So I remember that. So we're going to reload because I, I missed a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, because I was like, what the fuck is happening? And I, it basically de deleted Vegas. It completely froze it. So anyway, here we go. We chose the, the good ending to fight. The truth. They welcome Eden's gate into their hearts. They will die for me. How do you revive your friends? Seriously. I have none of my weapons. Do I just slap them? Wow, you have to down them. But I'm gonna die. Is there some reason? No, okay, here we go. Okay. There you go. Oh, no. Fuck it. Okay, so they, they don't die. Get off. This is really fucking weird, by the way. Now what? Thank you. Fight him, yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be real easy. Don't you worry. But I don't think it's over yet. Keep on your what happened to I Wayne Horse? You and you threw it all away. It is. You brought the world crashing down around us. The don't you see us? Whoa. You're fucking trippy, man. So they'll run over and revive them, basically, is what I'm guessing. Oh no, okay, so this is just a battle of revives, I see. I also didn't know that he was around. So I'm probably gonna die. Thanks, Pratt. Okay. And then Pratt gets demolished. Nope. Holy shit, now can I move? I can't. Hey, is the wolf one of my friends? Yeah, I'm fucked. Should've just done that from the beginning. Just down everybody. Fuck them. You cleared my head of all that bullshit. 
Yeah, that's what I'd like to think. Oh god, who's shooting? He's still shooting at them! <laughs> there you go, what was his name? Father Pastor Jerome. I like that nice shootout that White Horse had. He had his, his few moments in the sun. Still more of them though, right? Yeah, there's the other people. Oh crap. All my good friends! The hands of many are stronger than a few. I don't think anyone bleeds out. So I think you're fine. Oh, come on! Give me a break. So basically, you, you just have to down him and prevent people from rezzing everyone. That's basically what this is. It's like, an, it's in basically an infection mode. There you go. <laughs> so he's getting shredded. Every time he respawns, he just gets shredded. Oh shit. Okay, let's keep rezzing people. She got shot with an arrow, that's nice. Oh, get out of my way, come on. What the fuck is happening? You will feel the full fury of the Lord. Come on, pick him up. Pick her up. There you go. Mine is the face of Okay, let's let's not convert any of them back. Come on, get up. You have to believe me. Everyone, super team attack, go! I'm very confused by what happened. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Open the seventh seal. There was silence in heaven. And the seven angels before God were given seven trumpets. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. Joseph Seed, you're under arrest. And I heard a great voice from the temple say to the angels, Go your ways, and pour from the vials the wrath of God upon the earth. And that's it. It's a nuke goes off. Are you serious? Nah, we're pretty fucked. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, I'll drive instead. Holy shit! Well, I guess all these people were right to build these bunkers, weren't they? Holy shit, man. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, get us that bunker. Oh, 
I can't wait for someone to try to fuck with us, too. No, nope. bye. Please let this be more bliss hallucinations. The birds are raining on fire. <laughs> this game is too much. I'm sorry. This, this game is officially completely over the fucking top. It's the end of the world. I can't even see. Oh my god. Hey, look, there's a shrine around here. The burning deer! <laughs> Dude. Is that what their secret of the cult is? They had fucking nukes or some shit? No, because if it was a nuke, we'd be dead already, right? Yeah, we would be. Together forever. The end of the game. Excellent. Yep, and he's free. Big surprise, folks. Yes, Dutch is also under his sway. Like he said, it was all a part of his plan. Oh no, never mind. You know what this means? It means the politicians have been silenced. It means the corporations have been erased. It means the world has been cleansed by God's righteous fire. But most of all, it means I was right. <laughs> As we know it, is over. I waited so long. I waited so long for the prophecy that God whispered in my ear to be fulfilled. I prepared my family for this moment. And you took them from me. God damn, this is a dark ending. And that's it. That's the end of the game. 
That is a dark ending. I did not expect this game to end that darkly. Yeah, that's the end of Far Cry 5. So, here are the three endings of the game. You either turn away at the beginning of the game, refuse to arrest him, come get the National Guard, and that's it. You leave after all your hard work, and presumably, again, they don't show you if you're able to resist Joseph Seed's influence or not at that point, but you basically go back and you potentially kill your friends in a car crash, or something like that, or the literal end times happen and he was right all along. So in any event, you do not get to kill this guy. This, this, There is fucked up shit all abound throughout this. But it makes me wonder, how did they get that many nukes? They must have people on the outside in positions of power. In a lot of positions of power. It is, or maybe it is just coincidental. It's not explained, but I think that's kind of the point. Like they always said, they're kind of on the edge. You know, you're looking at the abyss and they were just waiting for something to happen to justify it. To justify everything they were doing and ultimately they're kind of proven right no matter what ending you choose and that's kind of the uh, the twist of this game so unfortunately it does suck it only took me about 20 minutes to finish the game after it crashed or after vegas crashed but it was worth it i, I enjoyed this game for what it was i think that there's a lot of good dialogue a lot of good ideology in this game it's an interesting play from start to finish um my problems with it are the AI. Your player character has essentially no involvement. He doesn't ever speak. He doesn't say anything. He's a self-insert with no voice acting, no nothing, which in my opinion is boring. Uh, I don't. Nothing is repetitive. Nothing is too much. Uh, I mean, maybe stuff happens a little bit too frequently when you're driving around, which is why I kind of didn't like driving in this game from A to B. But, I mean, otherwise, it's this game is a pretty decent game. I, I can't think of anything really fault-worthy with it. Uh, it's, your, it's You're basically your standard open-world shooter. You know, there's a lot of stuff to do. There's missions to do. There's a lot of side missions. The game, one thing I will give the game props for is every single person in the overworld that I could think of either gives you a main story mission or leads you directly into a side mission that will presumably lead you into another side mission. So, I mean, the only thing I will say is that all the endings are cliffhangers. I guess that's it. But that was a way darker ending than what I was expecting. Now, truthfully, did I expect the typical, oh, we kill him, that's it, we arrest him, put him in the car, drive away to safety? A little bit. I expected some twist on that. I didn't expect it to be, oh, well, all your friends are dead, and at the end of the game, it's just the two of you. I don't know how you come back from that. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty dark one. The end times and all that other shit. But I think that's kind of the point of this game, is that there you can't really tell. Was it really an act of God? You know, was it really something like that that caused the end of the world? Was it just coincidentally everyone decided to fire nukes at each other one day? Because that's, you know, kind of the point of the game, is that we're all living on the edge. Or did he have some hand in it, you know? Is this guy preaching, but on the side, you know, sort of slipping all this stuff together? And it's possible... It's entirely 100% possible. Yeah, I mean, I can't really think of anything too ridiculous that I was blown away from, other than, like, momentary, like, craziness apart in the story and stuff. But I also can't think of anything that disappointed me. And it's not an average game. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in it. So it's just like your typical sort of good game. That's mostly what I could say for it. And, of course, you know, I, like I said, I haven't played Far Cry 3 or 4, 
So I don't know anything really about that other than Far Cry 4 has a joke ending and the definition of insanity because no one will ever shut the fuck up about it when it happened. Um, Far Cry 4 came out when again? 2014? 2015? I think it was 14. So it's been about four, three and a half years since the last Far Cry. So yeah, I guess they were, it was about time. But yeah, there you have it. That is... Far Cry 5. I, I think it performed nicely, by the way, on the on the on my PC, which is good. Uh, of course, which at this point, that point, it comes down to my hardware and stuff. But it looks really nice. Like a lot of the, the cutscenes where you're up close in the face of Joseph and all this extra stuff. Um, it's really kind of cool. I like it. They, you could tell that they put a lot of effort into making these people look as human-like as possible, and it does sort of show off a bit. Maybe not on every character in the game, but there are moments with the main couple of villains and people where you they do try to show them as being really realistic. So, there you have it. You know, it is, it is a, a game that has a lot of politics in it, because, you know, that is kind of the American thing right now, is we're in a very politically charged environment in a lot of different places, and almost every aspect of our lives has some degree of fucking politics in it. For better, for worse, for kex, for whatever. Um, otherwise, I mean, you know, this game takes the piss out of a lot of stuff. Uh, but, yeah. Far Cry 5. My favorite part, the production babies, all the children that were born. It's always something that's always, like, kind of curious. That's a lot of children to be born in three and a half years. I mean, I guess not, but it's really kind of interesting that that's something that they started putting in video games. I guess since they take longer to develop, which is cool. It's cool, though. I don't fault them for that. You know, I, I think that's all right. The only thing I fault them for is credits literally just being the same shit like I, I what happened to interactive credits you know you, you can mess around during the credits show us like what's happening with the world like what it, you know are there divine lights is this really the end of the world god is coming down and we're gonna have the the final battle of armageddon is it just a bunch of idiots shooting nukes at each other like they're nuking montana my dude montana it, it, that's not like you would think that the first places to get nuked would be like DC, New York, San Fran, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Seattle, Portland, Miami, uh, Charlottesville, uh, Baltimore, Hartford, places you know like that, like capitals. They're nuking Montana, my dude. No one, no one knows what happens in Montana, and from where I am. The Montana is like a fucking myth where I live. Like, no one no one even knows. You never hear anything about what happens in Montana. Good or bad, you know? It's one of those things. You never hear that. So, uh, I mean, I could almost do the verdict right now. I could make it real simple. I think the story is interesting. The premise is good. The graphics are good. The sound is really good. The only negatives are the AI. Uh, I think the AI could be vastly improved. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of it, really. Things unloading really quickly, you know what I mean? Like, things unload in the middle of me doing stuff. So, like I said, when I was hunting, right, I shot, like, five buffalo. or I keep calling them buffalo. Bison. I shot five bison dead. I turned around to do something else. I think it's shoot more. I turn back, they're, they're dead. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? How, how are you going to get rid of the bison? I haven't even looted them yet. Then then don't spawn anymore until I, I collect them or something, you know? A game this powerful and it can't have more than eight bison on the screen at once? Not even, really. Oh, let's see. Anyone I know here? Uh... By the way, everyone here who voice acted did a kick-ass job, mind you. So, that all of them... They, every single one of them did a really good job. They brought their characters to life. I just think that part of the problem is that a lot of times... Like I said, I think this game would have been better 
if the world reacted to you doing stuff. So like I said, um, if you go and you do John C, right? Maybe they can't recruit anyone anymore. Maybe that's it. Maybe their resources are a little bit more dwindled. You know, maybe they run out of uh, whatever John C did. Fertilizer, right? Maybe they don't have as many explosives. No RPG guys anymore. You know, if you get Faith first, maybe there's no more Bliss. If you go kill Jacob first, maybe there's they don't have as many advanced weapons or something. You know what I mean? So you kind of have to pick and choose what you want to do and who you want to piss off. I do like that they kind of implemented it. In the sense that when you clear an area, as you're clearing it, they will kind of uh, up the ante in each area. So, like, for instance, they will have, um, uh, what am I thinking of? They will have, like, more patrols or more bliss and more stuff will happen in certain areas as you, un as you free them, culminating and clearing up once you defeat the big boss. That is cool. But I want to see the next step, and that's kind of what I said about Wildlands, is I want to see the next step. Like, what's the next thing that they can do that would be really dope? And I think that would be really cool, because it would, and then at the end of the game, once you have one area left, maybe you can pull resources from the other two areas, and then just sort of go on an all-out warfare sort of a deal. And that could be interesting, because each baddie had their own special thing to them. So... Kind of crazy. This is a crazy game. I knew Far Cry was nuts. I, I didn't think they had the balls to do an ending like this, and I didn't even expect it. Uh, it's, it's quite the, the it's a ridiculous ending. In almost none of the endings, you, your friends survive, and you do not kill the bad guy. But it's kind of going hand in hand with the story. The whole idea of the prophecy, and the whole idea that this is the end, and what you're doing accomplishes nothing. And th This guy really is a seer. He really is a prophet. And, you know, this might be a very radical take on, you know, something like Christianity and stuff like that. But it is a take nonetheless, and it is a crazy one at that. So, mega props. Can I uh, speed this up? Yeah, let, let's let's get to the bottom. I know they, they, like, again, this is what I mean by credits. I get you want to list everyone. I totally don't mind that. But Smash and HAL Labs know how to do credits, man. A wall of text? No, like, most people skip it. Like, let's be honest here. Most people skip credits. They don't give a shit. That, that's kind of the problem, because there's, there's nothing really that innovative or, or amazing. I think in Postal, they let you kill everyone in the cast or on the staff, which is interesting. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I might skip this. I'm not going to lie. I, I wasn't even close. I probably wasn't even halfway. They don't show you how far down you have to go. Here we go. Okay, we're getting to the end here. Of course, plenty of uh, content ID music, I'm sure, which will be great. Okay, we're at the end here. Let's, let's go. The software is provided as is. I always love when they put that in there. Okay. Did they just dump me back at the start screen? Of course. That, that, that is the one thing I don't like about credits, and most people are just going to fucking skip them. Oh, look at this! <laughs> Do you get anything from continuing? Look at the background. It's all destroyed from nuclear warfare. Well, and now it's fine. That is funny. So I guess that's it. I can just finish up the end of the game. I don't know if there's any difference for a 100% ending or not. What the fuck? Why am I here? Oh, the bars were empty. You have defeated the father and liberated all of Hope County. Well, how did I defeat him? Hello? Like... How, how have I defeated him? But that's not true. I guess that's it. We're just in free play. No one on the radio? No nothing? So is this sort of like one of those like post-game endings where it's kind of like, oh, you did it, you defeated him. Yeah, let me go to Dutch's bunker. Let's see if he's alive or not. Because obviously nothing is burned out and shit. Oh, thank you for playing Far Cry 5. Yeah, it was a good game. Let's see. Is he still dead on the floor? Oh, 
fuck! Oh god, he scared the shit out Kids, of me. Man. <laughs> Kids will kill you. He scared the fuck out of me. First thing they'll do is ruin your sleep for good. No matter how old they are, you'll never sleep well again. Next, you do your best to toughen them up for a cold, hard world. Oh. Oh. And they're the ones that end up breaking your heart. All right, so basically, this game sort of the post game is kind of like this weird. Uh, it's like Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Anyone who's played that game knows what I'm talking about. Where when you beat the game, you get an ending. That's the canon ending. But then you go back and there's other stuff to do in the post game that apparently has like an alternate twist on the ending. So it's a, it's a completely different ending to the game through the post game. This game is kind of similar. You like there is no ending where this happens. Like th this is not something that is that happens in the course of the game. But here we are, you know, like everything's fine. They act, you know, people who are dead and, and not supposed to be alive are clearly alive and, you know, vice versa. Now, I don't know if I could go back and try to fight the end of the, end of the game again. Let's see. And by the way, this is another one of those games where once you get to the ending, you can never stream or show this without being a spoiler, basically. We, we, we're, this is another game, like Xenoblade 2. I can never show off the ending of Xenoblade 2 without there being, like, some ridiculous shit. Now I ain't scared. Nope. Yeah. Oh, I still don't have any first aid kits. Oh, fuck. Get off. Yeah, no, it's completely different. So, yeah. That's how the game ends, then. Anyway, the point is is that basically now the post game acts as though I guess you arrested him. It's supposed to be like a, it's an it's an un it's a it's an ending that's not done because there's no real point to it. But the real endings of the game are all pretty good. So that's going to be it for my Far Cry 5 playthrough. Holy fucking shit, the way this game ended. Uh, needless to say, the whole time on this game I was kind of on edge for what crazy shit was going to happen next. They, I don't think they could go any further in some cases, so. I'm Square Empire 1000. If you've joined me throughout this whole playthrough, or just recently, thank you. I will see you guys next time for whatever. You know, we'll see what happens. So, take it easy, everybody. Have a good day. Peace.